business in Taos, had been good to the man. He had made a substantial amount of money, and today, he looked forward to making more, with a short trip, toward Elizabethtown, New Mexico. The morning air was crisp, as he saddled his horse and packed goods and needed supplies onto a couple of mules. He had a few hundred dollars in his pockets, and he was looking forward to the trip, along the mountain paths. The leaves of the trees, had begun to change color, and, he thought, the ride would be an easy one, filled with views of the nearby peaks, and the splendid autumn colors. As he rode away from Taos, that morning, few who knew him, realized he would never be seen again. The trail he took that day, was alleged to be a place where some people simply, disappeared. Since the trail was used mainly, by lone cowboys and desperados, it is uncertain how many of them may have disappeared, without a trace. However, once gold was found in the area, the trail became well traveled by miners, heading out to make their fortunes. It was at this time rumors started, about lone travelers, last seen headed for the pass, never to be seen again. The Taos man arrived at a cabin. The cabin was built by Charles Kennedy, a large man, with unkempt whiskers, and wary blue eyes. Kennedy had been a hunter and trapper, in the Rocky Mountains and, in 1868, had moved to the San Gre de Cristos, with his wife and their baby son. There, where the area's only two roads merged, and entered a mountain pass, he established a crudely developed ranch, and invited travelers to stop, and pay for a night's lodging, or a strong drink. Kennedy had allegedly, killed two of his own children, in fits of drunken rage. When Kennedy's remaining son, nonchalantly told a visitor about a dead man, buried beneath the house, Kennedy swung the three-year-old boy head first, against the fireplace. After killing his son, he also killed the stranger. After killing the stranger, he drank until unconscious, and while he was unconscious, his wife ran away. Thus began the story, of Charles Kennedy, and his series of murders in New Mexico.